Assalamu alaikum everyone my name is Yasser and you are watching Pantastic Valley if you are new here i make videos of realistic drawings arabic calligraphies and paintings so consider subscribing and also press the bell notification as well and also make sure that you follow me on instagram because i am a lot more active on instagram than youtube so let's start this video in today's video i am going to paint this beautiful calligraphy painting behind me that is kullu man alaiha font written on it and also its urdu translation that is the ruwa zameen par jo kuch bhi hai sab fani hai what i have used here is on the background for galaxy making i have used acrylic colors why acrylic color because acrylic colors dry very quickly and they are very suitable for creating this kind of background like galaxy a little stars and for some smoother effect like you can see here of fire effect which is blended very well with the black color of the earth so here i have used oil colors because oil colors blend very well hence i have created this earth in oil colors then we cannot write on it with acrylic colors we can use oil colors on acrylic colors but we cannot use acrylic color on oil colors so writing and earth i have created it in oils so i will discuss all the steps in creating this beautiful masterpiece so if you watch this video till the end then you can also create these kind of paintings by yourself so let's start with the colors first here you can see i have some digital reference color on my cell phone that i have selected from the reference photo so i will be mixing and matching colors to these reference the link of the reference colors can be found in the description down below so you can also mix and match the colors for the dark blue color i am using ultramarine blue and uh, carbon black as you can see to mix dark blue color and then for the lighter color i am mixing ultramarine blue and uh, sky color and to desaturate the colors i am mixing black and a little bit of white it means gray in it to desaturate the colors because i don't want the colors to be very vibrant and of course the other light color i am mixing a lot more titanium white and sky color in blue so it is a lot lighter so i have created four to five colors from transitions between black dark blue blue light blue and very light blue you can say like this I have divided this galaxy and the earth in two parts. The upper part is cooler colors, blue, light blues and dark blues and in the lower part I am using warmer colors that are light yellow, yellowish, brown and black. So I have transition in both the colors blues and yellows from dark to light. Simple here i am using a canvas of 24 by 36 inches and as we have to draw earth in the middle so i will intercross all the four corners and hence i can get the center of the circle of earth i am roughly drawing the outlines so that i can paint galaxy around it this may not be the perfect circle but just the indication of the circle as you can see i am roughly indicating it here i have a sponge that is commonly used in the construction work as well and you can find this sponge on from hardware store for 30 rupees I have created small holes in it so my application of colors should not be very smoother or even I want the background something interesting As you can see I am applying the dark color at first on the corners and gradually I will lighten the color from dark blue then lighter blue towards center of the earth but remember on the upper part because we are still on the upper part of the galaxy painting 
and the lightest color near the circle of the earth. This painting link, link is also given in the description down below. You can also use this painting as your reference. Now this process would be same for the lower part you have to paint the darkest color the darker color first on the corners and the middle of galaxy and then move toward the circle of the earth with lighter tones i am going to time lapse it so you can see the process Now it's time to paint the stars. We cannot paint the stars individually because they may be in hundreds and thousands. So I am going to tell you a very easy and helpful technique. Mix the same color as we have mixed for the galaxy background and thin the color with water. It should be watery, not the solid form. And with the fan brush or any flat brush, that bristle should be apart. Dip the brush in the paint slightly and then sprinkle on the canvas like this. Remember, you have to put the canvas down on the earth and put rough cloth under the canvas and also and remember if you are wearing a high quality clothes then wear a common t-shirt because these stars uh, these sprinkles go everywhere around it and it can ruin your clothes and also if you are doing this on the wall it can ruin your wall so so put it down on the ground start making the stars like this you will have to go in the same order as you have done the background i mean the darkest colors first and then dark blue light blue and white colors at the very end with the pure white color you can create some stars with the same technique as i have told you before as you can see around the canvas there are a large mess created by the sprinkles so always put it on the ground and on the rough cloth and also it and also the sprinkles are on the hands and arms that's why i have told you to wear a common t-shirt now we have to create a perfect circle and cover all the black area we have left in the galaxy making process for earth i have also told this technique in my videos that you can use two pencils and tie together place one pencil on the center of the circle and with the other you can create a perfect circle this way i have mixed some colors for the earth the link is also given in the description down below you can also check it out and match the colors with this first i am using acrylic colors just to cover the circle and then for the smoother blended area we i will use oil color as acrylic color dries very quickly so you can sprinkle some water with the shower with the shower or sprinkler and hence the drying time of acrylic colors can be increased to make the lower part of the earth you can flip the canvas and hence it's easier to make the lower part now i have switched to oil colors and doing a little bit details but remember that you should not do much detailing because our focal point would be the writing on it not the earth or designing itself 
and also I am using oil colors because I have to blend these colors very well with the black color so that it look interesting but not so much attractive for the viewer because So now the final step, we have to write our Qurani ayat on it. First of all, I am indicating where our letters are going to be with a white charcoal pencil. And it is just the indication that where our words are going to be. Not so much details or not any measurement is included in it. For writing part, I will use these kind of cheap brushes. This pack of 8 brushes cost me around 300 rupees so these are super cheap and for indication I am using charcoal pencil. Now for the writing part, I am going to use these oil paints because I have used oil paints while making earth so we cannot use acrylic for writing on it because as mentioned before, we can use oil colors on acrylic colors but we cannot use acrylic colors on oil colors add kerosene oil or any medium in it so it should have a good consistency and flow for brush to move we will tip the tip of the brush and we are ready to write Writing with the brush is a little difficult than with the column because it is not solid as we have column on brush. It has movable parts so it feels very difficult in the beginning but when you know how to write with the brush it is very good and very fun part to write with the brush. There is no need to rush, take your time and make perfectly many of the beginners do a mistake i will call it mistake because they make outlines with the pencil etc and fill it with a small round brush that i think is not a good approach for the arabic calligraphy you should write with a flat brush like a column because in this way you will be able to get thinner or thicker stroke with the same brush and it will not look messy and you can write very neatly with that with these flat brushes you can also use pargaza brushes that are also common in our artists but i couldn't found these pargaza brushes in the local market so in near future i will be making a video that how you can use those brushes Now I am going to time lapse a little bit so that you can see the process but the video will not go too far. This is how you have to write the Arabic calligraphy and also with the smaller flat brush you will write the Urdu version of it that is Ruhe Zameen Par Jo Kuch Bhi Hai Sab Fani Hai.
i hope this video is very helpful for you so don't forget to subscribe my channel and also share this video to others and follow me on instagram if you recreate this painting then tag me on instagram at the rate of fantastic valley so i will try my best to respond to you see you in the next video take care and god bless